There is new information tonight on the murder of a New Jersey councilwoman found dead in her SUV in Sayreville. Tonight, the FBI is joining the search for answers. CBS 2's Christine Sloan with the latest on the case now. Of the father. Here's Councilwoman Eunice Jumpford during what friends say was one of the happiest days of her life. The 30-year-old with her new husband, Ezie Kings, at their wedding. She got married in Nigeria in December. That's all I can tell. Kings, who was a pastor in Nigeria, told me that he's devastated. Jumpfor also deeply religious, serving as the director of Champions Royal Assembly Church in Newark. The church has been here for years, um, but prior to my, you know, becoming an employee here, and I heard nothing but good things about her. The property manager at the building where the church rents space says she got to know the councilwoman over the past year because she always brought by the lease check. Very spirited, very faithful, very devout. Jump for was gunned down in her white SUV outside her home Wednesday night inside the Sayreville development. Witnesses say they heard close to a dozen gunshots. What I've heard from my neighbors is they actually seen the guy running towards the Garden State Parkway. Investigators from the Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office combing the woods behind the Lemire complex, looking for clues in the murder of the councilwoman described as a rising star in the Republican Party. Politically, I mean, she can go higher. She can climb the ladder higher, yes. But it's very unfortunate that, you know, um, she has to, her life has to be shortened. The FBI now offering assistance. The FBI is aware of that incident, and we are uh, working with all of our partners in order to find out more about that incident. The councilwoman grew up here in Newark where her family is mourning her death. The one thing we do know is that Governor Phil Murphy says her murder was not politically motivated. In Newark, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News.